Hi, this is my first 3D printed metal part. I designed it with DesignSpark Mechanical and sent the SDL files to Shapeways to print it in steel. It arrived after two weeks and it cost only 95 euros. Without gold plating it would have cost 90 euros. So I think metal 3D printing has reached the range of um, affordability even for hobbyists. How was it done? Well, it's not a pure 3D printing process. It starts with a layer of um, stainless steel powder. Over this layer they spray with something like an inkjet printhead some glue. And then they add another layer, add glue again and so on. This process results in a very fragile 3D pin, pr printed part that is only loosely glued together. And this part is then finally cured in an oven and then, which results in another little bit less fragile part, then it is dived into molten bronze. And this bronze is, through the capillary effect, sucked into the part. So this is a alloy of stainless steel, which is of course itself an alloy, and bronze, which is also an alloy. To my surprise it's magnetic. And it sounds like a bell. What is brown and sounds like a bell? Done. This jug is 40 years old. Okay. Yeah. So you might think this is a perfect way to make your models, your machines and so on. Yes. But it has a big disadvantage. It's not accurate. When the molten bronze is sucked into the stainless steel, um, sponge you could say and it solidifies it shrinks and it shrinks in an unpredictable way or even or, or should I say in an um, with simple methods unpredictable way and so they guarantee only a, a tolerance of plus or minus five percent which is well for machining purposes very very accurate uh, inaccurate of course you could see in it a type of casting where you have to machine the precise parts afterwards but for many purposes it may be useful and with this price acceptable depending on the size of the machines you're making and the size of your wallet Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell.